Hello everybody, my name is Luigi and I am an exercise physiologist. Shortly we'll be talking about the electrocardiogram, also known as ECG or EKG. An electrical impulse causes the heart to contract. Such electrical impulse spreads in the surrounding tissues and the small amount reaches the surface of the body. The ECG is a recording of that electrical activity. During the ECG recording, an array of skin electrodes is placed in the chest and limbs, and as the heart undergoes depolarization and repolarization, during each heartbeat, it generates a low voltage electrical current which is detected by the electrodes and recorded by an external device. The ECG provides information about the heart rate, the heart rhythm and health. We will now see in a bit more details the original propagation of the depolarization and the repolarization and the corresponding ECG segment throughout the cardiac cycle. On the left side of the screen, you can see the spreading of the impulse in the heart. And on the right side, you can see the corresponding ECG segment. The heart depolarization, shown in yellow color, begins in the top portion of the right atrium where the sinoatrial node is located. Then the depolarization spreads in the whole right atrium and left atrium, and the P wave is formed. Subsequently, the depolarization travels down the ventricle, and then spreads throughout the ventricle, and the QRS complex is formed. Then the ventricle repolarizes. This is shown in blue color and the T wave is also formed. We saw the sequence of events at slow speed to help understanding. Let's see it again at higher speed. Now we see the whole sequence again. Thus, the P wave represents the depolarization of the atria. The QRS complex represents the depolarization of the ventricles. And the T wave represents the repolarization of ventricles. Let's talk a bit about the interpretation of the ECG. For instance, the R and R interval provides information about the heart rate. The PR interval reflects the time taken by the electrical impulse to travel from the sinus node through the atrial ventricle node and entering the ventricles, and it's a good estimate of atrial ventricular node function. The QRS complex provides information about the ventricular depolarization. The ST segment is important as it shows the level of blood supply to the heart. The alteration of the ST segment can be diagnostic of the heart condition, ischemia, or infection. The QT interval represents the ventricular depolarization and repolarization. A prolonged QT interval can be diagnostic or susceptibility of a certain type of disturbance of the normal heartbeat, 
term tachyarrhythmias. In conclusion, the ECG is a recording of the electrical activity of the heart and provides information about the heart rate, the heart rhythm and health. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to contact me, both my email and the website addresses are now appearing on the screen. In my YouTube account, also appearing on the screen, I have uploaded all interesting videos about science, so you can have a look there too. Thanks, and bye for now.